Thank you, thank you all. Hi, and welcome to the new Beat the Clock, where people pit themselves against time to win cash and prizes. And they're going to get a lot of help from this week's guest star, Giselle McKenzie. But right now, we're going to meet our first couple. Nick, will you introduce them, please? Gene, our first couple is Mario and Marie Volpe. Oh, boy, you stand over there. You stand over there. Hey, with all that applause going on, it's hard to catch your name. Would you repeat it for me, Mario please? Mario Volpe. Mario Volpe, nice to meet you. Marie Volpe. Marie Volpe, that's great. You're obviously married. You have children? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, pardon? I'm waiting. You're waiting? Yes. Well, don't. Who are you waiting for, Mario? You know, well, I, I mean. Know. <laughs> I have to get experience, I guess. You have to get experience, you guess. I see. Uh, is, is that true? say so. <laughs> you wouldn't say so. Well, then look, Mario, she says everything's fine. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah right. Not now, of course, but let's press on with the show. Okay, we've got two stunts lined up for you. Let's go and take a look at our first one. All right, would you step right up this way, please? And Maria, I'd like you to stand on that mat. And Mario, I would like you to go down and stand on that mat right down there. All right, now here's what's going to happen. Oh, wait a minute. I got you folks backwards. Sorry about that. That. Mario, you come up here and you go down there. Did you ever get one of those days that lasted all year? All right. Now, here's what you're going to do to beat the clock. You take a cup, Marie, and you throw it up into the air and you catch it, Mario. That's all you have to do. Okay. Now, you just put that there for a moment. And we're going to put goggles on you and also gloves on you, Mario, so that you will protect your hands when you try to catch it. All right, while you're putting on the gloves, let's take a look at the clock and see how much time we have. Go, old clock. You've got 50 seconds. Now, all you have to do is catch one of these cups, Mario. Just one thing. You have to throw it by the ribbon. You can't throw it by the cup, but by the ribbon, okay? And you, Mario, you have to catch that cup by the ribbon. All right, you're all set, ready to go. All right, go! Oh, she's strong. That's it. There's one! And stop the clock! Hold it, stay right there. That's just great. I gotta tell you, is, is, is that the way you put your dishes away at home, Marie? No, I never. No, all right. Now look, you've still got a lot of time on the clock, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a $5 bonus for each one you catch. Are you ready? And go, gang. No, catch it by the ribbon. No, no good, by the ribbon. No, you caught it by the cup. Get it up higher. No, stay on that mat, Mario. No, drop it, babe. Keep them coming. There you go, five dollars. Hey, ten dollars. Fifteen dollars. No, fifteen. Twenty. Come on, you gotta hurry. Throw them. Take off those goggles. You made yourself an additional. Oh, wait a minute. Hold it for a Okay. You, you unhooked? Huh? Yeah. Okay. No wonder you don't have any children, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Getting caught up in your clothes all the time. Okay. All right, you picked up an extra 20 bucks, and now here you are at our cash board. Here's the way it works. Behind each letter, there is money, and the money ranges from $25 to $200. Put your heads together and tell me what letter you want. Tinder. Okay. Tinder. 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 The T in the. Okay, that means that you have won. One hundred dollars! Hey, that's great. Right off the bat, 120 bucks. Okay, now look, you've got another stunt coming up, so I want both of you to stay right here where you are because I'm going to bring out our guest star who's going to help you with that stunt. So you wait here for a minute while I go and get her, then we'll come back for you, okay? Okay. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here she is, the lovely 
talented Giselle McKenzie. Ah, Giselle, it's such a delight having you on the show. I want you to meet a marvelous couple right now, and this is Mario and Marie, Giselle McKenzie, and all four of us are going to go up stage right now, and I we're going to... the Belgian one there for a couple of minutes. No, not at all. Let's get on to that second stunt, okay? Fine. Now, what we have here are some balls, and what I would like you to do, Giselle, is stand over there on that mat, and you, Marie, I want you to stand there, and you, Mario, you stand there. Okay, now what we have here is a little ring. It's a curtain ring, and you'll notice this table bounces like that. We're going to put that ring on the table. That will be your job, Marie, okay, when I tell you to go. And all you have to do to beat the clock is catch one of those rings in an item. But first, Mario, to get that ring to bounce, you take this ball. You bounce it under the table so it hits the dam like that and forces that ring up into the air, all right? And then, Giselle, you catch that. Now, we have a little item for you to catch oh, it I with. Have something. We have something. It's a soup strainer for the Jolly Green Giant. Okay, now you hold on to where it's marked by the tape, Giselle. Okay, well, hold on where it's marked by the tape. That's it. Both hands. Your other hand back there a little further. Okay, that's what you catch it in. Now, let's take a look at the clock and see how much time we have to do this. You've got one minute. Now, if it goes off, if that ring goes off, you replace it. Okay, Marie? Get one. Yeah, get one to beat the clock when I say go. Are you ready, gang? And go. Oh, I put another one. Stay on the mat, Giselle. You gotta go faster. Don't waste time. It's up. Easy, easy. A little harder. Get it down there. Get it down there. Oh! Come on, you got 15 seconds. Get it down. Get it down. Get it down. Easy, man. Easy. A little harder. Giselle, Mario, Marie, turn around and take a look at that clock, will you? Look at that. There was just two seconds left. Congre I do believe it. That's marvelous. Okay, Giselle, I invite you to have a seat on the bench, won't you? Okay, Mario and Marie, you come back here because you're going to have another chance here at our cash board. Okay, put your heads together. Tell me what letter you want. Sing clock. Let's see. Let's sing clock. Oh, they want the last C in clock, which they're trying to keep a secret. Okay, here we go. You have won $50. That's great. Okay, now listen. Mario and Marie, you still have a chance to win more cash in our celebrity solo stunt, and there's another prize coming up when you meet our next contestants in our Beat the Clock playoff, all right? So there's more fun coming ahead. So folks, hang in there, because all those things are headed your way. We'll be back soon. <laughs>
buzzer has all your favorite game show sets. Then, we just add stars. Dynamite. And our newest game show set. Welcome to the newlywed game. Well, I mean, that's rich. Buzzer, let's play. For more fun and games, visit buzzertv.com. Okay, Mario and Marie, in addition to the cash you've won, we have some gifts for you. Nick, will you tell them what we have for them, please? An umbrella safety stroller from Cross River Products folds and carries like an umbrella. It only weighs five pounds, but supports 100 pounds. And 100 pounds of spaghetti in three cases of ragu sauce. Simmered to perfection, old world style spaghetti sauce. Heat and serve on meat, rice, and spaghetti. Okay, and now, Nick, if you will, let's meet our new contestants and Introduce them, please. Gene, our second couple is Paul Stilo and his fiance, Joan Scott. Hi. Hi. And you are? Paul Steele. Nice to meet you, Paul Steele. Joan Scott. Joan Scott. Ah, you are not married. No. I see. Uh, you are? Single. Oh. <laughs> 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 I, th I think you're in a little trouble here, Paul. Uh, uh, what, what is your relationship, if I may ask? We're going out together. You're going out together? Oh, yeah, great. Gee, I don't have anything to do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you notice how thrilled he is to have me join them? Okay, we have two stunts lined up for both of you folks, so let's go and take a look at that first stunt, please. Would you step right up this way? And you, Paul, you stand right there and face that tin of marshmallows, if you will, please. And Joni, you come with me, please, okay? Now, here's what I want you to do, Joni. I want you to pick up uh, three of these marshmallows, one at a time, in your lips, and then you will bring them over here to Paul, and he will hold them in his teeth. You understand? When you've gotten all three marshmallows from your lips to his teeth, you will beat the clock. All right, now let's see how much time we have in the big old clock. Okay, we've got 50 seconds, and that's all you have to do. However, we don't want you to get messed up or anything like that, Paul, so we have a little something to protect you from. That's it, fine. It's a towel, which we are going to put right over your face. All right, now she's got to get those marshmallows through the towel into your teeth, okay? All right, put it right over there on him. That's the way. Okay, now, Joni, are you all set and ready to go? Each time you, no, you cannot pick them up with your hands. You pick them up with your lips. Okay, keep your hands behind your back, as a matter of fact, both of you. Your hands behind your back. All right, three marshmallows and go. She's got one. She's aggressive. He's got one. What happened? No, no, take it out. Put another one in. He's got two. One more. Step back. Stop the clock. They beat the clock. I can't believe he ate the whole thing. That's marvelous. Okay, there you are. You've beat the clock, and we're going to go to the cash board. Step right over this way, won't you, please? You work very well together, you two folks. All right, now here's our cash board. Pardon me? <laughs> I'm lucky I've got a big mouth, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you do, oh, I see what you mean. Right, all right. Put your heads together. Tell me what letter you select from our cash board. A. Pardon? A in beat. You want the A in beat. It says $50. Okay, stay right here. Because we're going to go right on into your second stunt. Giselle, would you come up here as quickly as you can, please, and meet these two charming young people and help them with their second stunt. All right? Right up this way, please. All right? Now, what's going to happen is as follows. We have some balloons here. And Giselle, would you stand here at the very top of our circle? All right. Now, what we're going to do is give Giselle a balloon. Uh, you two folks are going to stand on the mats. Would you step over here, Joni? All right. Now, all you have to do is get this balloon that I have here all the way down here to this basket. And you'll notice inside this basket, there's a little ball and there are needles sticking out all over it. You've got to break that balloon in that basket. Now, the question is, 
How do you get the balloon down there? Okay, I'm going to show you. You do it this way. You're going to have a dowel. And Giselle, you'll balance the balloon on the dowel, and then you two will carry it down, get it in the basket. One balloon, break it, and you've beaten the clock. Now let's see how much time you have on the big old clock. You've got 45 seconds. All right, now Giselle, you will supply the balloons. Let me get up stage here of you a little. All right, you ready? And go. Let go, Giselle. Easy. Easy. Take it easy. All you have to do is break it. Hold on to the red tape. If it gets away, go back and get another one. Go back and get another one. You touch the floor, go back and get another one. Come on, you got 15 seconds. Sorry, you did not beat the clock. That's a shame. Oh, that's just a shame. Okay, Giselle, you go back there and have yourself a seat. Oh, now it breaks. Okay, all right. Friends, we'll be back with Giselle McKenzie and a solo stunt and our Beat the Clock playoff right after these messages. Keep looking, won't you? Some gifts for you. Listen as Nick Hollerake tells you what they are. Go, Nick. A vacuum the Bissell Sweepmaster lightweight electric all-floor vacuum that needs no attachment stores as easy as it cleans. Bissell cares all about your home. And Richardson's After Dinner Mints, famous for their bright, cool, refreshing taste. And for variety, party patties, after dinner, and pastel mints. All right, time now for our celebrity solo stunt. Giselle, would you step this way, please? Okay. No bowling pins, something a little different. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to give Giselle a stunt to do. You folks are going to have to decide whether she can do that stunt or not. I'll show you the amount of time. And then you will bet. <laughs> okay. Then you bet either on the clock or the star. If you bet the right way, you win yourselves $50. Okay, you have that. Now take this ruler and hold it at the end. Uh, it's a yardstick. Hold it at either end. You cannot let go of this at any time. Any way you want, Giselle, you get that jacket off. Now, let's see how much time you have. Talk to me, clock. You've got one minute. Okay. Now. Right. You're going to have to get that jacket off over in front of you. You understand? Over in front of you. All right. Now, let's take the bets. Mario, what, what do you want to do? Clock or star? What do you want to bet? Clock or star? Tell me. Clock. 
You're going to bet on the clock. How about you? Um, stop. They go, what? Okay, let's go on the stock. They're going on the stock. Okay, just get it off any way you can. And so it's in. Yes, off your body so that it's in front of the ruler or on the ruler or whatever. Okay? Go, lady. Wiggle. Really move it, Giselle. That's it. That's it. Good. Don't let go of the ruler. Get the other arm down. Get the other arm down now. Come on, Giselle. Wiggle, get it down, get it down low. <laughs> Try it over the uh, head. <laughs> Come on, Giselle. Come on, you gotta hurry. You got five seconds, Giselle. Go! Come on, Giselle. You can do it. Oh! She got lost. Marie and Mario, you bet on Giselle. She lost. You do get nothing at all. Oh, you, I'm sorry. You, you bet on the clock. That's right. It was John and Paul that bet on them, so you don't get anything. Marie and Mario, you get the additional $50. Okay. Okay. Just take it right over there. Have yourself a seat. And Giselle, win or lose, our guest celebrity always gets a prize. Nick, tell us what it is. Action packs by Samsonite, a shoulder bag with roomy exterior pockets and a club bag, perfect for casual wear. From Samsonite, we make travel a little easier. Okay. Everybody, listen to me carefully. Beat the clock playoff coming up, all right? Now I want you all to step this way with me as quickly as you can, please, all right? I want the men to sit in the chairs. Giselle, you'll look after this team, make sure they follow the rules and do exactly what they're supposed to do. The ladies will stand behind the chairs. Just take these things off here, put them down, all right? Just let me get my cord. Now, all right, you're going to sit there, fellas in the chairs, Put the goggles on the fellows. And now, gentlemen, we have for each one of you a sword. Hold that sword in two hands straight up firmly. Do not, two hands straight up and firmly. All right, now what's going to happen is your partners, the ladies, will put a can on top of this sword. Then you, using wrist action only, will flip the can. All you have to do to beat the clock is knock over one of those pins, okay? First team to do that is the winner of this event. And let's find out what the winner gets. Go, Nick. It's a stereo. This beautiful three-piece STA 18 AM FM stereo system features superb craftsmanship and top quality sound and exquisite walnut cabinetry by Realistic. Okay, a great prize. Let's take a look at the clock, see how much time we have. We've got 55 seconds. You know what you have to do, ladies? Get right behind your friends there. All right, one can at a time. And are you ready? Go! Snap. Oh, stop! Stop the clock! That's what I said! One pin! Mario, you did it! You get the stereo set! Congratulations! Okay, everybody, back to your seats. Wow, that really went quick. That Mario is a dead eye. Come on, Mario. Back to your seat with Marie. Whoo, boy! That's what we call a fast stunt. By goodness, it was done in a very few seconds. And we'll be right back with our contestants. Time for fun in the audience. I'm gonna give you three cans. Throw them one at a time at those pins. For each pin you knock down, you get five dollars. Go, sir. A little easier. Hey, you won yourself five dollars. Congratulations.
call us for each pinion knocked down. Go, sir. You got two. That means you won $10. All right, next gentleman. I take your time, okay? Oh, he got two for one. He's got three. He got three of them worth $15. Congratulations, sir. That's just great. All right. Hey, friends. to say it's time to say goodbye but before we do that let's total everything up and see how our contestants did Paul and Joan won fifty dollars very good and Mario and Marie Mario and Marie they won two hundred and twenty dollars and the stereo okay let's reveal the board now and see where all the money was there it is up there where is that biggie? It's there somewhere, I know. Right, there it is, and that's it. Giselle, thanks once again for being such a great guest star. This is Gene Wood saying bye-bye for now for the new Beat the Clock. So long. <laughs> This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production. Get ready to match the star, Jimmy Walker, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Love, Linda DeJoy, Richard Dawson, and Kay Stevens, as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now here's the star of Match Game 74, Gene Rivers. Dear friends and gentlemen, nice to have all of you here with us. Your whether hair you looks are, curlier today. I beg your pardon. Your hair looks curlier today. <laughs> it wasn't curly. Does it look curly? Well, it's the humidity. You see, it's lovely. That'll do. 